What is up, guys? Ninja Nick back with another round of the Champions League. This player on the left playing with Charizard sleeves has a Charizard deck who would have thought. And we do have a Raikou here on the right, so that could mean Lost Box, but uh, it could also mean Miraidon as well. I think that's a Lightning Energy in hand as well, so I would say that this is safe to say that this is a Miraidon versus Charizard EX match. I want to say that the Charizard EX is favored because it has so much HP, um, but it could always just brick, right? So there's that too. Uh, we do start Mew. That's probably the best starter in this uh, Charizard deck just because it can help you find the rare candy that you need. So six cards there off the top. Any item cards? We do get an Ultra Ball. That's a pretty decent one. That can help you find the Arceus V-Star on the next turn to be able to use uh, the um, the ability uh, Star Birth to search your deck for any two cards. We're even going to see just an energy to the Arceus for the turn and just a pass from there. So we'll have to see. This will most likely be a Nest Ball for a Maridon EX. Maridon EX has the ability Tandem Unit. Allows you to search your deck for any two lightning basic Pokemon to put directly to your bench once per turn. Uh, you can, of course, use Maridon to get Maridon and then use that Maridon to get more Pokemon. So you can fill your entire bench off of one Nest Ball. Or just starting Maridon, basically. Uh, which is pretty broken. Uh, but somehow balanced because the Maridon deck has a fairly low damage output. Uh, basically maxing out at 230 if you're playing the... Uh, the baby Zapdos, which allows you to do 10 extra damage. It does not have anything like Electro Power like we did in previous formats. I think Maridon might be a lot better in Expanded, uh, where it has access to things like the Electro Power. And the Picaram as well would not be too bad to, uh, to have with it as well. I think maybe just Picaram itself would be better. But it uh, looks like we have a different Flaffy that just got put up on the screen unless that's a different art of the same flat it's got to be a different art of the same flaffy right the flaffy that allows you to dynamotor get one lightning energy out of your discard pile and put it onto one of your benched pokemon uh, much like the dynamotor of the electric that we used to have in the standard format back during the mewtwo ex wars days uh, as well as uh we played and expanded with the baby raiko uh, for a time. Mewtwo Axe Wars were like just before my time. Like ever so slightly before my time playing in Pokemon. So I did not have to deal too much with that. It was more like Darkrai and Plasma Wars myself. Plasma came out around the same time I started playing. Like, just after. Like, just during, basically. I started playing immediately after the release of Plasma Storm, the first Plasma set. So usually I tell people I started playing in the Boundaries Cross block. Electric Generator is able to search the top uh, five cards of the deck and attach two basic energy cards to your benched lightning Pokemon. And uh, there it is. It gets two energy. You love to see it. Uh, they're also highlighting the Zero Aura that has free retreat. It does 30 plus 30 if the Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon that you're hitting into. So usually only good against the Shining Arcana Gardevoir when it has a bunch of damage on it. We are going to retreat into the Raikou Fleet Footed. Allows you to draw one card. And then just Lightning Rondo. 20 plus 20 for each bench Pokemon on both players' boards combined. And that will be the knockout on the Bidoof. Mew becoming active yet again here. We'll be able to search for yet another item card, but do we just have what we need already? Uh, here is another Bidoof to the bench. And a Chorus's Experiment. 
an interesting supporter card to be having in a deck like this. Uh, finds double rare candy. It would have been great if we had maybe a Pidgey down, but it looks like maybe we're playing a Beeberl engine instead of the Pidgeot EX engine. But yeah, we're going to Lost Zone. Two cards, one rare candy, one choice belt. Uh, choice belt should not matter in this matchup because the uh, Pokemon Vs that your opponent is playing are 200 HP. Uh, and we have an Agatha as well. What's the... Oh, I forgot what the Agatha does. does. I think it's in 151. No, it's Chilling Rain. Move up to three damage counters from your active Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. Oh, that's right. People were hyping that up in Gardevoir for a hot second. And by hot second, I mean literally like an hour on Twitter. I saw like two posts about it. And we do have Rare Candy, Charizard EX. Have not even used the V-Star power yet. We're going to be able to use Charizard EX's ability to load three fire energies from our deck onto our Pokemon in play. And now we're going to use Mysterious Tail next. So we have not shuffled just yet, so we are going to have to do that. I would not call that a sufficient shuffle, but rules in Japan are a little bit different. Um, they're usually a little bit more lenient with um, shuffling rules than we are. I would say too lenient at times, but usually on the stream, they do really keep it pretty clean uh, comparative to what our... Um, what our rules are like. So here we go. Starbirth. Gonna search the deck for any two cards. Since we do have our third rare candy in hand, maybe we're trying to go for Charmander and uh, Char another Charizard DX. But we do play the Charmander down. And maybe we're just going to go for the Iono. We do have Iono in hand. And we can just attack with the... Oh, we have the... Oh, the Lost Vacuum. We can get rid of the Bravery Charm off of the... Uh, we can get rid of the Bravery Charm off of the... Raikou V. Which is currently putting its HP to 250. Uh, without that Bravery Charm does put it back down to 200. Arceus V-Star's attack is 200 and two, uh, 200. So it will do an exact knockout to the Raikou V. Sometimes I confuse the damage output of like Arceus with Lugia. Just but only when I'm like commentating. <laughs> Never when I'm playing, which is kind of funny. It's like, I'm like, wait, is it 200? Is it 220? I can't remember. It's like always the same, Nick. That's when you play. Both of these players 5-0. and So the next one definitely wants to be going. They both want to be going to 6-0, and to 7-0, and to 8-0, and to 9-0. and But will that be a thing or not? We will have to see. So Ultra Balling away to Lightning Energy to find a Flaffy. And I'm, again, I'm assuming that is a Dynamotor Flaffy. I'm not familiar with that art, but according to the text on its ability, it does look like one lightning energy is what it says on there. So I'm assuming that is still Dynamotor. And yep, it is. So Dynamotor onto the other Miraidon here. Attach for turn. Retreat. And now we can hit for 220. Uh, but that Arceus is still swinging 200 back. And we draw exactly Charizard EX. Don't we have the rare candy in hand already? We can rare candy into the Charmander into another Charizard EX. Load both of the Charizard EXs up completely with energy. Here it is. Oh, rare candy Charizard EX. Ability. Three fire energies out of the deck. Two onto the Charizard without energies one to the charizard with energies and no looks like we do not have enough fire energies in deck but just two here is fine um, because we are just one energy attachment away if we have uh, maybe a super rod we can put back an energy later we can always just hard attach to the other charizard 
Oh, nope, we already have one in hand. All right, uh, that's, uh, that's all we need. And we are going to go for the Trinity Nova, doing 200 damage here. Our opponent has not done quite enough, has not taken enough prize cards for Charizard's damage output to be effective enough to uh, go ahead and take a one shot on something like the Maridon. So we'd rather leave the Char uh, Arceus in the active spot. Um, but also it shows the Agatha on screen yet again. Uh, if we were able to use the Agatha, we could have moved three damage counters from our Arceus to the Maridon and then take the knockout. So very interesting card inclusion in this deck. It kind of works like a supporter version of Choice Belt, I guess, in that sort of way. Uh, but I'm really excited for the new Professor Turo that allows you to pick up your Pokemon. Uh, because I think that that will be really good. Imagine if you were able to do that with the uh, Arceus V-Star. Just pick that up and then all that damage is now off of it. But you can play it in a deck where it could also be used on other Pokemon like the Charizard EX to pick that up. Because right now you still have Sharon's Care available to you, but that doesn't work on Darkness type Pokemon like Charizard EX. So here we go. We're going to Ultra Ball away. Looks like Nest Ball and a Raikou V. Going to search our deck for another Flaffy. So we have two Dynamotors in play right now. Also have a the forest seal onto the Raichu. We're gonna put a second forest seal down to the Flaffy just to thin it out of our hand since we've already used our V-Star power. Not super important to keep that. So we're gonna use double Dynamotor. We're gonna load one to the Raichu, one to the Zeraora. Retreat into the Zeraora, and since it is an evolution Pokemon, we will be able to do 30 plus 30. Which should be the knockout, right? 60 plus 220. Yes, that is exactly 280 damage. So being able to take the knockout with a single prize Pokemon is nice. Because that's going to force a boss's orders out of your opponent. I would really like to see if we do have a boss's orders from the Charizard to bring up that Raichu. Raichu has a very high damage output. It has the same attack as Qian Pao, except with lightning energies. Now we do see an Iono here, so no boss, but is going to disrupt the opponent's hand, putting it to three cards. So, I suppose if the Raichu does come up, takes a big knockout on the Charizard EX, there is no follow-up from there. He would have to bench another Raichu after that. So yeah, if this Zero Aura comes down, you want to put another Raichu on your bench. But then the Flaffies might not be accelerating enough energy to be able to take two Charizard EX knockouts back to back. And does that Charizard have one damage counter on it? It does. Why does it have one damage counter on it? That must be a mistake. I definitely see a damage counter on it. So electric generator coming out from the Maridon deck unfortunately is going to be a whiff. I mean you're pretty much through most of your energies at this point I would think anyway. You got two, three, four, five in play. At least maybe three in the discard pile. Five, six, seven, eight. No, I guess you could still have like six energies left available to you. Usually you play like 14 in the deck. Yeah, two, three, four copies still in the deck. They're just like all clumped around the middle more than likely. So uh, looking through the deck with the Maridon's tandem unit, we're just going to fail to find nothing else that's in there that we want. So no other Raichu. That would have been the next thing I would have wanted to see. And we do need to attach for turn to the Maridon to even hit into this Charizard. Um, but what are we gonna do after that? 
Are we trying to just knock out with the Raichu now? 6, 12, 240, 300. Yeah, we have exact knockout if we retreat. Uh, exactly as many energies as we need to knock you out if we retreat. But what's the follow-up to that? Hit an electric generator? 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, you need six energies in play. The Flaffies can only get you two per turn. You don't even have another Raichu in play. Your opponent already has the energies necessary to attack with the next Charizard. So yeah, this should have been your last attack of the game. But I mean, honestly, there is no... Like, the Maridon player didn't really do anything wrong. It's just the Charizard deck is just too beefy for them to be able to get through. Yeah, it's just not a good matchup. Maybe the judges are trying to clarify something. He definitely didn't use the Forest Seal Stone on the Flaffy. He has a Forest Seal Stone on the Raichu. So the Forest Seal Stone can only be used if you have a Pokemon V. Maybe they're just trying to make sure that he had enough damage in order to knock out the Charizard. Or maybe they're trying to find out if he double attached or something. I don't think he did any of those things. I think that the play is clean. But of course, I could have missed something. Yep, nope. Yeah, looks like everything is fine. Nothing going wrong here. So we are going to see an Ultra Ball getting rid of Radzard and uh, Pokegear maybe. Looks like is what it was. Yeah, Pokegear was the top card. So yeah, it had to be those two. We're going to attach a double turbo to the Beeberl and Iono. We'll draw three cards of our own. And then we can Beeberl after that as well to draw another two, unless there's more we can thin out from this hand. And yeah, the Maridon did go down to one prize remaining. It is ahead, but this Charizard will be able to take the knockout on any Pokemon that is now put up. And you don't have a an out to this second Charizard. You don't have a way to knock this out. Um, but if you do have maybe a boss's orders, you could boss up that Mew and knock it out with one of the Maridons. You just need, uh, you need energy, boss, another Pokemon. But it looks like we just have a Bravery Charm in hand along with an energy card. We do not have that boss's orders we need. So yeah, if you were able to put down another Raichu or a Raikou... You would be able to double Dynamotor to that, attach for turn to the active, and then boss. But yeah, you didn't draw exactly boss energy. You drew energy, bravery charm. So just really unfortunate here. And then the Charizard is just able to take the KO here on the brave charmed Maridon. Because it has 270 HP, you're doing 18. Uh, 330 <laughs> so you could knock out your opponent's charizard in the mirror that way so as always guys do not forget to comment like and subscribe that was a pretty clean game there from charizard uh, a pretty interesting deck to have in the format right now uh, basically this is still just naic format with charizard it feels like so we will see you guys next time